Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and this one consists in more news because uh, again they decided not to release the news on the same day and basically do it day and another day. So, uh, one more thing that we're going to be getting this week which is really good so you guys will be able to keep busy a little bit more. Uh, we're going to get the Steel Castle Malfica and the really cool thing right here you guys can read, uh, read it. From March 21st and of maintenance onwards, 4 star burst spots and 5, five star king burst spots will be added to the event reward. This is really really cool. Uh, this is one thing that I think we should see a little bit more. Because these 7 star units, not only they take a lot of XP, they also take a lot of pots to be able to max out their limit burst. And uh, you guys will be able to get the seal of life and power level 4. Uh, on basically your uh, fist weapons attack plus 40% on uh, axe weapons uh, arps seal of life and soul boost HP and SPR by 20% and hammers seal of life and arms boost HP and defense by 20% so still castle Melfica will be live you guys will be able to get some cool rewards which is also also really really great and hopefully they're not gonna give us a Bowie knife again can you guys please give us something different than a Bowie knife as a reward. Please, Gumi, something different than a Bowie knife and not the Aqua Blade. Thank you! Then, something really, really cool that's coming back. So, uh, I don't know if you guys use your trust Moogle summons, uh, your trust Moogle, your friend point. I basically hoard my friend points as much as I can because this will come back. So, you guys will be able to summon with your friend points uh, basically five star Moogles for your three star based units, which is really, really cool. So, let's read it real fast. Players will have a chance to receive a 3-star Trust Moogle with random Trust Mastery each time they perform a Friend Point Trust Moogle Summon with Friend Point. So, oh, so it's actually any 5-star, uh, any 5% Moogle. That's really good. Uh, starts on Friday and basically goes up till the 29th of March. Uh, friend Point Giveaway. 2,000 Friend Points will be sent to each player mailbox daily during the campaign period, which is really, really cool. So here's a chance to basically farm... Uh, your trust masters even faster and also uh, if you have some three uh, three star based unit and you want to trade them for trust coins now will be your chance so this is really cool i wish they would bring this a little bit more often but uh, this is really really nice thank you gumi thank you then ability awakening updates seymour waka Dre's camille vane uh, i'm actually interested for a uh, camille since uh, she's the one of the only characters that's able to chain with eileen which we're not seeing anymore. Uh, so I'm uh, kind of excited for this girl right here. But these three right here are getting their main uh, abilities awakened. So uh, we're going to go over Baltier real fast. Light footed. Uh, just awakened plus two. Boost chance of evading physical and magic attacks. Alright. Trick weapon. Boost number of elemental resistance reduced. Not bad. Rapid shot. Boost damage amount. Great. Reduce attack count low. And gun mastery. Awakened plus two. Boost attack increase high, so maybe he's gonna get like an 80% or 100% uh, gun mastery. That would be really, really cool. And boost equip and attack when armed with two one-handed weapons. So that's really nice also. Uh, he's gonna be more of a dual wielder. Then Bosch. Bosch is actually really cool, guys. There's something different about him. Uh, we're gonna go right here real fast. So this, this is basically a defense and a spirit buff to him. And he's also gonna be able to uh, resist some breaks on his stuff. Uh, boost attack reduction. So right here, uh, damage becomes defense based. So the higher his defense, the more damage he's going to be able to to do. Uh, same thing right here. And one that's really really cool. Loyal spirit. You guys make sure you do this. Basically boost HP increase low, boost defense and spirit increase mid, and nullifies charm. So this is going to be really really good for you guys out there using Bosch. Right here, you're going to be able to nullify charm on your main tank, which is really really good. And also, we're going to have Conchira, Aid to the King. Uh, you guys are going to be able to get her attack and magic up. Boost HP, boost equipment, attack and magic when armed with two one and weapons. So she's going to be more of a dual wielder right here. Uh, Mage Blade, boost damage amount, great. Boost damage amount of enabled ability. Superior Mega Blade, great. Boost enabled duration high of enabled ability superior mega blade uh, mage blade so she's going to be able to do even more damage so if you guys are using that conchira right here uh you guys will be able to deal a little bit more damage but i'm really excited to see camille because she's one of my favorite four star units uh just due to the fact that she's able to chain with titus and also eileen 
And like I said, we are not seeing Eileen anymore. Uh, I wish they would do a awakening update uh, ability where you're actually able to make her whether a dual wielder, a really good dual wielder, or a true double end character. It's like they're not sure what they want to do with her, so please bring back Eileen. Hashtag bring back Eileen to what she is because she's a really cool unit and we need to see more of her. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys agree that Eileen is a really cool character and she needs more love. Then, the last one, featured summon, you guys will be able to pull for Eurasia. Uh, Carlet, actually, I have no idea who she is. Uh, she just popped out. So uh, we're gonna go over her stuff real fast right here. There's no data mine on her. But Eurasia, if you guys wonder, she's a buffer. Uh, now she's a special buffer, okay? So if uh, you boost all your stats by 130%, she's gonna take self-fixed damage. So she's gonna buff your party by 130%. But she's gonna take, I think, 2,000 fixed damage. Uh, that's one thing that she's gonna do. She's also able to boost your attack, your magic, defense, and spirit. And whenever you do attack and magic, I'm pretty sure it's gonna boost. It's one at a time. So you can dual cast that. So you can dual cast uh, where you do attack and magic. You're gonna boost your LB gauge fill rate at the same time. Whenever you boost your defense, it's by 120%. You're gonna be able to boost your... Uh, your heal i think just so you're gonna have heals for three turns and same thing with spirit but you're gonna have an mp heal for three turns so she's not that bad if you guys basically don't have a good buffer or any buffer at all uh she might be good to go for because even as a six star unit she provides a lot of good stuff and uh you don't need her to be a seven star to be uh, able to help your party but even as a six star like i said she's really really good so you guys if you pull her on your free daily and you don't have a buffer user so you're we're gonna go over right here step up summon they're keeping the same concept of uh, the one they did for sid which is really really good nine plus one plus one at the end uh if i'm not mistaken it's gonna be a twelve thousand run right so that's four thousand six seven twelve so yeah twelve thousand lapis to do a run on the eurasia banner and carlet is gonna be the same thing you guys will have to do twelve thousand and you still get that nine plus one plus one uh yeah because you're getting a five star guaranteed on this uh the last step is actually really really nice guys that five times rate up plus that guaranteed rainbow is really really cool so if you guys don't have a good uh buffer like i said she might be good for you she's gonna be helpful and carlet i think she's just gonna be a mean damage dealer on the magic side so let's go over eurasia or uh, super trust master eurasia air, air pin defense plus 34 spirit 95 which is really really high uh, HP 30%, which is really nice, enables Eurasia's air pin restore HP each turn, which is really, really nice. Uh, Trust Master Reward, Wisdom of S, boost MP by 20%, Spirit by 40%, and boost defense and SPR every single turn. Uh, how much boost? I don't know. Maybe, uh, hopefully, it could be something around like 80%. I'm not sure. I need to check on the JP side, but we're never sure what they're going to do from JP to global. Then, our featured abilities. Uh, unwield, uh, unyielding stratagem. Uh, every one use every seven turns. Reduce damage taken for three turns and boost resistance to blind sleep, paralyzed, confusion, disease, and stone for all allies, which is really really nice. Uh, sustainment stratagem. Every five turns you can use that. Consume own HP to boost attack and magic for all allies. Fills LB gauge and enables resurgence stratagem and runation runation stratagem for three turns. Then she gets Martyr's Stratagem, consume own HP to boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all allies. So that's the one I was talking about. Basically, you boost all your stats by 130% for 3 turns, but she's going to self-inflict 2000 damage to herself when using this move. Which is not that bad, because you can play around with your heals and everything, so she's not that bad. Then we get Carlet, which is going to be a 7 star unit. Uh, her magic is looking pretty high, which is really nice. Super Trust Masters, another hat. Attack 60, defense 29, magic 60, MP 20%. Global upgrade. Thank you. Then her trust master reward, magic charger, boost equipment magic when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. So she's going to be a true double hand magic damage dealer. Or maybe she might be a hybrid. We never know. She might be a hybrid. So featured abilities, lost legacy. Uh, every four turns you can use that. Damage one enemy and enable triple dystopic creation for three turns 
That looks like it could do a lot of damage. Then she gets 4 Shudder, 1 use every 7 turns, uh, reduce attack and magic, and fire, lightning, water, wind, and dark resistance for all enemies. This looks really, really strong. Uh, I seriously hope it's something around like 100%. That would be so cool. Make her super powerful, 100% imperil to fire, lightning, water, wind, and dark resistance. Yes, please. And 100% break on attack and magic that would be great if that's a thing she's gonna be one crazy unit then merciless lightning and light damage to all enemies uh we don't know the percentage based so when we get the data mine on her it's gonna be a little bit easier to see her kit then we're gonna get Fry Frynus, uh child of s basically he's a four star going into six star i like his stress master uh basically because it's attack 40 defense 3 and hp 10 percent so if you guys don't have good attack stats or accessory for your attackers uh, this will make it really good just having that 10% HP can make your uh, your physical attackers a little bit more solid and take a little bit more damage and that attack is really really nice with plus 40 on raw stats so if you guys don't have good piece of accessory for your attackers this will do marvelously and the last one the three star going to five star I'm not gonna try to tell you uh, I'm not gonna try to convince you that he's good. His trust master is okay. Attack and uh, spirit plus 20 boost resistance to silence by 50%. Nothing special here, but again, if you are new to the game and uh, you need something good for your headpiece or something, well, this could work nicely. Again, if you are new to the player, uh, new to the game, and you don't have a lot of uh, TMRs and stuff like that, this can do marvelously uh, also this one will be good since if you do the step up you're probably gonna pull a lot of this guy so might as well fuse them together and get that trust master so let me know down below in the comment section are you guys gonna pee are you guys gonna pee are you guys gonna be summoning for Eurasia uh, it's gonna be a big skip for me like I said most of us are saying Axar should be coming out within a month so if it's time to farm your lapis and keep those tickets keep them uh i kind of lost faith on the xeno gears i still don't know what's gonna happen with that and uh i know most of you guys are still in the blue uh on that but uh yeah no xeno gear but we get Re eurasia pretty fast though i wasn't expecting that at all uh but still not bad at all so if you guys are missing a good buffer she could do the job even as a six star she's basically like folka even as a six star unit they're still really really good for your party so thank you so much for watching this video guys please leave a like down below subscribe for more hit that little bell to get notified whenever i upload a video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace